I'm a nurse. I work here. You don't. So that means I don't take my orders from you or him or anyone but doctors. So until you flash a sheepskin that says you're qualified as a physician to make medical decisions for my patient, you will get out of my way and you will let us take that poor young woman for her CT scan. A CAT scan. It lets us monitor her. If you have a problem, take it up with the chief of staff. Because I can't afford to be sued if my patient dies while I'm standing here explaining procedure to you two. Understand? Yes, ma'am. What's going on? I'm taking Sam for a CT scan. I'm gonna go with her. Take. As long as it takes. We'll let you know. Did you see the way Jason looked at me? He's thinking I've been her mother for 24 hours and now I'm calling all the shots. What do you think? I think he's right. I mean, this is unbelievable. But what choice do I have, really? Because technically, I am the only person that can legally make decisions for her right now when she can't. And I don't know what to do. I'm waiting for one person with authority to give me some answers. One person in a white coat to tell me what to do. Well, never seems to work out that way. Hard choices are almost always the ones that you have to make for yourself. Don't second guess yourself around you are a mother and part of the job description is that you make the decisions for your child that are best when nobody else does just like you do with molly and with christina and what if i make the wrong one what if i wanted to live so badly that i've lost track of all my instincts what if i make a choice that kills her sam is on her way to the or I just want to thank you for everything I know, what it could cost you, and no matter what happens, I want you to know that I'm not going to let you take the blame. I made a choice, not out of friendship or loyalty, but because I believe Patrick is Sam's very best chance. Jason, if I were in Sam's shoes, I can only pray that Lucky would love me with the same amount of strength that you love Sam. This is what I would want. But if you're unsure, it's not too late to change no, your no, mind. No, no, I have to do everything I can to save Sam. You know, it's it's what she would want, even if she knew she could die. Christina has a recital. I totally forgot. Okay. I can't go. All right, I have right, to right. stay here. Right. Right. Hey, okay. Take care of Christina. Five-year-old stop dancing is my idea of a fun night. You're a kind and wonderful husband. Yeah, yeah. The tap shoes are in the left part of the closet, and she wants the blue tutu. And please take pictures and don't let her have any sugar. tell you when it's okay to come in here. Is that my sister? Where the hell is my daughter? Before I scrub them, are you packing? Why? Well, there's an expression, no one held a gun to my head. And when Alexis puts me in jail for this, I'd like to say you did. Okay, if you don't operate, I will shoot you. How's that? Perfect. We're on the same page. You would, uh, be laughing if you knew how many rules we broke to do this. Just come back to me and I'll, I'll tell you all about it. I won't talk your head off. I promise. Jason. 
case. Again, we have to work fast. I don't want to ask for anything twice. Is everybody clear? How's the pressure? She's all in. Oh, God. I need suction. Get ready for a cell saver. Sponge. Clamp. You went ahead and did it anyway. You're too late. You get your hands off it's me. It's already started. It's almost done. Tell me it's not as bad as it looks. We need to hurry, people. When the DA puts us on trial, it'll help our case immensely if our patient is alive. If Sam dies, I will personally see to it that you are put away from murder. 